Hello, my science friends. I will show you how to draw the AMPK pathway in this tutorial. This is part of my tutorial series. You can find the full list on my website, drawbombmate.com. I'm a scientific illustrator. I teach at the University of Amsterdam. I'm making these tutorials because I get requests from scientists in the developing country. They don't have the budget to hire a scientific illustrator. They rely on these videos to publish their research publications. These videos will not go viral on YouTube because they're too niche. The ad revenue revenue will not be enough to support this project. You can support me by donating through the thanks button below. By supporting the channel, you also help scientists around the world. You can subscribe to my social media and my newsletter so I can update you about the progress of the project. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. In Inkscape, yes, now I'm in Inkscape. That's good. So let's grab the ellipse tool to create a cell. Now to pick an outline, Hold shift and click on the color that you want. In this case, I pick this blue and I increase the outline size to four. We need to create a radial gradient. For the gradient tool, and we can activate snapping. So Inkscape can help us to find the center of the shape. And then click and drag. And also on this side. And on the outer side, I'll have um, a light blue like this. And at the center, white. First, let's create the insulin receptor. Okay, what I did was I grabbed the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Uh, change the outline to black and make it thin like 0 0.5. And if you switch to the edit node uh, note tool, you can click on this round corner widget and then round the corner of the rectangle. Let's make a copy, put it over here. And I will grab the polygon tool, double click, uh, corner three sides and create a triangle. Make a copy, put it on the side. Here and select both of the shapes. Click on center on vertical axis. We're sure they're centered. Select both of these shape, uh, select both of these shapes and a path difference. And we can make a binding site and place our insulin in. The receptor, let's get fill in a gradient. Something like this, dark blue. And insulin we can drag. Okay. Let's label it. Pull this up. Fill black fill stroke. Um, remove the stroke. And also the receptor is smaller. There will be a lot of rece other receptors. I think it's better to save some space. So this is one of the kinase. Um, also radio gradient. Uh, I don't like this purple. This is better. And Let's see, PI3K. Because now you're able to draw it by yourself, you can add the complexity by yourself. Let's create an arrow. Let's 
Go to stroke style dashes here. Markers. I'll use this one, but you can use whichever. The dashed line indicates an abbreviated pathway. So there are a lot of things going on in here. I think a square would be good. Also radial gradient. Yeah, I think orange is better. Here we need an inhibition sign. So let's change the marker to this. Then we get an inhibition arrow. Then our main character, AMPK, finally is here and we will make it really big. Okay, and AMPK inhibits Raptor. Let's get the leptin receptor. Let's make it, let's make a spade. Um, 90 degrees. Is it 90 degrees? No, 45 degrees. Let me squeeze it down. And I'll remove this. Oh, was that a heart? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think I saw a heart. Let's create a radio gradient. I will use orange for the leptin. Okay, so this will be leptin. Um, so the same thing, I will make a few more copies. On my website, drawbiomed.com, you can find the signaling pathway illustration page. See, we have AMPK signaling pathway. I want to expand the artboard. Go to document property. Then we can we can change the size of the artboard because I realized there's just so many components in this pathway. The current artboard is not big enough. Now we have a bigger space to work on. I can also enlarge from mitochondria. Let's do this. Uh, grab the ellipse tool, an ellipse, radial gradient. Select the gradient tool. I will turn on the snapping function. So this let Inkscape showing us where the center of the of the graphic component is. And click and drag and when you move the gradient handle you can adjust the size of the gradient mitochondria use conventionally we use orange then let's create the mattress now i create a rectangle and around the corner by pulling this round corner node all the way down. I need it. Then I'll select these components, the red and the uh, and a beige shape. Go to path exclusion. Then I will go to path again, click on break apart. So now these shapes I can remove the parts we don't need. Let's see. Now we need to create the glucose glute for just copy the cell body. Scale it down. And I'll create the glute for first. I'll use the ellipse. 
then here I will I'll put a linear gradient. Okay. Uh, go to fill and stroke tab. Double click under the gradient slide. We can create a new stop. Offset 0 0.5. Okay, have the gradient stop selected and choose. The center color should be darker. Uh, which video did you watch? Scale this down. I want to create a groove here. So I will go to path and click on object to path. Drag on the side. We can make a groove out of it. You can also create a glucose. It's a hexagon. Give it a radio gradient. Let's make it look like a uh, caramel. Okay, now I need to create a seven transmembrane domain. So, alpha adrenergic receptor. I'll create a rectangle and lips at the exact same width of the rectangle. Linear gradient. We need three gradient stops. I group them and make copies make fun of people who talk about energies but a lot of it it's kind of like if you, in a practical sense it's true and it's really hard to ex sometimes it's really hard to explain why we feel You mean like people who are <laughs> people who, who 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 hate who are hating others for no reason? Yeah, things like that can really happen. I'll give you an example. So I um I am recruiting new housemate in my apartment. And I I just posted the ad on Okay, then PCL beta.
Okay, then there's a kindness in between. I'll move the AMPK but downward. So we will have it play space to cram in the AMKK. Okay, we're done. This is the AMPK pathway. Now we have your AMPK pathway illustration. I wish you a successful publication. You can find the full list of the signaling pathway tutorial on my website, drawbymit.com. Share the videos to help other scientists. You can support the project by clicking the thanks button and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video.